The render token is one of the biggest AI altcoins on the market, and it has been one of the biggest winners throughout this bull run from the top 100. However, it is currently in a 40% drawdown from all-time highs that it put in just a month ago at $13, and has actually just broken below a very important area of price action, which is the previous bull run all-time high at $8.80. And this comes at a time where there's been some very bullish news for this all coin in regards to their partnership with one of the biggest AI companies in the world. So in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show, I'm going to break down all the latest news for this project as well as take a look at the charts. Now before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live on the channel. So we're going to get right into today's all coin of discussion and we are back today to talk about the render network. This has been one of my personal favorite all coins and my favorite AI all coin pick on the channel since last year. It definitely has had a very impressive performance since last year starting off at about the 40 cent level and rallying at the moment about 1900% to get to the level it currently sits at which is that $8.15 mark. So a very impressive run for this coin over the past year and a quarter. Uh, however, we can see here that we are experiencing a 40% decline at the moment, which it's worth noting it has done this before, okay? If we take a look between May of 2023 and September of that year, this coin went through a 55% drawdown before beginning on this run to new all-time highs. So you have to expect that with a coin that's a big runner like this to the upside that you are also going to experience some big drawdowns when the market pulls back. And that is definitely what the coin is experiencing at the moment. Now, the interesting thing about this breakdown is that it actually did break below its 2021 cycle high at $8.80, which is a very important area of support or it was an important area of support which I do believe will now be acting as resistance. So just for some context, on April 13th, which was Saturday, I said calling Max Payne here for this pullback. And we can see here that by the Sunday, we did get a nice bounce in render. It was up about 20% from where it hit about the $6.5 mark, rallied up to about $8.5. It even went beyond that. It, it was up at about $9 yesterday. And now it has once again reversed to the downside. So definitely some good money to be made here, kind of buying and then selling on the pump. But if we take a look at the longer term chart, you know, it does look like it is still moving to the downside. And we're going to kind of get into the price action near the tail end of this video and talk about where I could potentially see a longer term bottom forming for this coin before a continuation of its trend to the upside. But first, I do want to talk about the news here. And we know that about a month ago, Stability AI announced that they were officially partnering with the Render Network and Endeavor. And the reason they're doing this is to develop next-gen AI models, IP rights systems, and open standards powered by decentralized GPU computing. So Stability AI is one of the biggest AI companies in the world. Endeavor is one of the biggest entertainment companies in the world, owning both the UFC as well as WWE. And just for some context on exactly how big Stability AI is, so Stable Diffusion is their AI image generator, which accounts for 12.5 billion of the 15 billion images generated by AI last year, meaning they beat out Adobe, Midjourney, and OpenAI's DALI 2 image generator by 12.5x. So models based on Stable Diffusion, 12.59 bill, Adobe Firefly, 1 bill, Dali 2, 916 mil, and Midjourney, 964 mil. And we're not comparing Stable Diffusion here to some smaller AI companies, you know, startups or, or anything like that. We are talking about some of the biggest brands in technology and in the AI sector, which Stable Diffusion has outpaced by over 10x. So... That should give you some context on just how big Stable Diffusion and Stability AI are and why it's a big deal that they did choose to partner up with the Render Network. 
And although this news did come out a while back, one thing that the Render Network dropped here after that was an article that really breaks down in depth the implications that this has for the Render Network itself, right? Like, great, they've partnered up here. They've acknowledged that the Render Network is a huge player in decentralized AI. What does this mean for the Render Network? So... Uh, they announced this partnership uh, at, bah, sorry, between the industry leaders in open source generative AI models, media and entertainment, and GPU computing to develop and standardize IP rights, production workflows, and infrastructure around, around emerging AI's technology. So AI technology, sorry. So the partnership leverages renders a decentralized GPU network, massively scaling AI training and inference power at cost to help democratize open source, transparent, generative AI technology and provenance systems that will soon impact 3D VFX and media production workflows. Now, more specifically, Otoy and Stability AI, and Otoy is the parent company of Render for some context, um, will work together to optimize Stability AI's models to run on the Render Network's peer-to-peer -peer pool of consumer GPUs with the ability to feed results back into over 26 plus widely used mainstream 3D software tools supported on the network. Native integration of Stability AI models on the Render Network provides a seamless integration of large AI models and 3D content workflows, access to APIs for third-party applications, and the ability to scale a waitlist of over a million consumer GPUs for building next-generation media models. And with this announcement, we did see Omar Imad Mustak, who was the Stability AI founder and CEO, actually announced that he was resigning from the company to join the Render Network Advisory Board. And one of the big focuses for him was to actually help to focus on the tokenomics and the use cases for the Render Network. So... You know, effectively, this means that one of the biggest AI companies in the world is going to be leveraging Render's decentralized GPU network and optimizing Stability AI's models to run on the Render network's pool of GPUs. And this means that we could see a scenario where all the jobs that are being rendered through Stability AI are going through the render network on the back end, which does have implications for the, the network usage and therefore for the demand utility and use cases for the render token. Now, speaking of the render token, I want to play this 40 second clip from Imad Mostak. He was recently on the Bankless HQ podcast and he basically discusses uh, his plan for using render render tokens to help shape the future of decentralized AI. So we're going to give this a listen and then we'll discuss. So like I joined Render Network as an advisor to help upgrade the token economics and, mm -hmm. you know, leverage the million GPUs they have. But it's a very, very specific use case. It was the first uh, Render Network proposal I did was let's use tokens to build the commons of 3D assets because Render is based on Autoy, which is the default for this work with Star mm -hmm. Trek and a whole bunch of others as a common good that then people can license. And so you can have some local things like that that are really interesting because like we built the biggest 3D data set ever. In the previous large was 100,000 3D assets, 10 million Objiverse Excel at Stability to build our cutting edge 3D models, made that open. We're going to go to a billion assets and obviously that's a good thing. So, and Render kind of set up ages ago and it enables that. So what he's referring to in this clip, he's discussing RNP11 when he's talking about his first proposal. Basically, they're looking to create a data set for 3D asset training and to train models using this data set, buyers will need to license the data set with Render tokens, also including plans for staking on Render. So really just adding a lot more utility to the token alongside the fact that the people can choose Contributing their GPU power are getting paid in render tokens, not to mention the burn mint equilibrium, which is burning an equivalent amount of tokens. He is now looking to actually have buyers needing to license the data set that they are building out for 3D asset training with render tokens themselves. And that will have very big implications on the token price if this is if they are able to execute on this, which I have full faith the team will be able to do as more and more people 
people are looking to create their data sets for 3D training and to actually train models using the data that the render network has to offer. So the fact that we have uh, essentially somebody from one of the biggest AI companies in the world who left his position as CEO to come and work with render and the fact that he is specifically focusing on how to leverage the render token for AI use cases. Uh, that does make me even more bullish on the project. Now, one other thing I do want to quickly mention is that Stability AI also released Stable Audio 2.0, a new model capable of producing high quality full tracks. Okay, so they have a text to audio feature as well as an audio to audio feature here, which basically allows you to either type in a prompt or say a prompt and get some interesting feedback, get some interesting music in return, some new audio rather. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. It looks like they're building out on all fronts here, you know, text to image, text to video, text to audio. And if somehow the render network is the, the back end infrastructure that is powering all these different models, providing these different pieces of content, these different AI generated things to people, that would just be a massive area of demand and utility for the render network. And now we have Imad Mostak working on even further linking the demand between the network work to the token itself. So to wrap things up, I do want to talk about the token. We spoke about the news. I do want to get into the price action now. As I said at the beginning of the video, the token is below its prior. So it's 2021 all time high at $8.80. At the time of this recording, it is sitting at about $8.29. Now, if you actually watch the last video we made on the render network, we were still above here. I think the last video I made was last week. And I said that I would expect the next significant area of support to be the bull market support band, okay? And the bull market support band at the moment is basically at between $6.70 and $7. And as we can see here, the bull market support band, we did get that mass flush out on KuCoin. This coin actually fell down to about the $5.82 mark. That dip got eaten up very fast. And as of right now, the bull market support band did in fact act as a level of support on the weekly. If we take a look at the daily, you can see here once again that it did hold as support. And if we are unable to get back above the 2021 all time high and actually make our way back above 880, I do think that this thing kind of makes its way back down to $7 in the coming days and weeks. Now, one thing worth noting is that if we take a look at the Bitcoin chart here, and this is something that is worth mentioning because as of right now, we are, I think that the market overall does follow Bitcoin the most, you know, Bitcoin moves, all coins move at, at higher volatility, generally speaking anyways. And the one thing I'm noticing with Bitcoin right now is the fact that we are kind of forming this set of lower highs at the moment. And we do have the halving coming up, which we could argue has already been priced in because of the ETF demand. And that we may kind of see Bitcoin make its way back down to the high, down to the low 60, high $50,000 range. And if that was the case, if Bitcoin was to make its way down, I mean, for Bitcoin, that would that would be about another five to six percent drop, which means that alts can definitely fall another 10 to 15 percent, which would put render back at the bull market support band at that seven dollar zone. Uh, you know, as I said at the beginning of the video, there was a quick money trade to be made here on that dip and then on the rip back up. But unfortunately, longer term, it does still look like this altcoin has not yet found its footing. And one other thing I do want to mention is that we've also seen the, no, not the AVAX Bitcoin. I want to take a look at the render Bitcoin valuation here. And the one thing we can see here is that we did have these prior cycle all time highs at about point, let's just call it point zero 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 one four. Okay. Render broke out on its Bitcoin pair at the same time it broke out on its USD pair. And just as it has fallen below its 2021 high on its US pair, it has also done the same thing here versus Bitcoin. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, also, if we take a look at the bull market support band on this pair, which I don't do too frequently, but that would indicate about another nine and nine percent drop. So to see this coin kind of fall anywhere from 10 to 15 percent and make its way back to the bull market support band would not surprise me at all. But as I said, you know, long term, I am very bullish on this coin. It's been one of the biggest winners of the bull run, and I do think it will continue to be one of the biggest winners. 
It sits in the middle of two very big narratives right now for the market, crypto and AI. So I do expect that, plus not to mention the execution the team has been doing to really make a valid use case for their network, for their decentralized GPU fleet at a time where there is a ton of demand for this as companies look to get into AI, to large language models and all of that compute training. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. And on that note, I hope you did enjoy the content in today's video. I hope you are all staying happy, safe, and healthy. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out for now.